watch the recording. I'm like, if you guys say you're watching the recording, you better be watching the recording and post your takeaways so you get credit for it. But, um, okay, so a couple of things I want to talk to you guys about tonight. It is uh, August 31st, last day of the month, great day, and a Monday, and yeah, just insane. So, um, y'all know that it is Labor Day weekend's coming up, right? I would highly recommend that you send something out, an e-card through InTouch. Do y'all know how to do that? Yes? Zulema, do you know how to send an e-card through InTouch? Okay. Um, I would send an e-card through InTouch and I would do a flash sale. Okay? Just do a Labor Day flash sale. And I would say something like, <clears throat> I'm working, are you, for Labor Day? And offer something. Buy one, get one half off, 25% off site wide, whatever. And that will get your momentum going for September so that instead of waiting until mid month or the end of the month to get people excited about what you're doing, you are getting them fired up at the beginning of the month. And then for an incentive for anyone who wants to be a hostess. Now I'm gonna show you guys something on this new closing sheet that it is really good, uh, what we put together. I think even Zulema is gonna like the new closing sheet and how we did it because I actually had Amy, Zulema, and Jules in mind. When we did the closing sheet, we took off all the free stuff. We took off all of the half price stuff. I'm like, these girls are not losing money. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> so we're gonna go over that and you guys are gonna like that. But here's the deal is um, if you will, hey Shannon, how are you? Oh, Shannon, Shannon. You're like two hours early. Anyway, okay. So if you guys will go ahead and put something on now, then um, then that'll get people excited for September. And I mean, I would do it like, I would have it set up and, and have it there the first thing in the morning. Hang on, let me let her know that, okay. Let me let Shannon know. Hang on just a second. Hey, Shannon, we don't start till seven. Are you just testing it? Shannon. Okay, I think I may have to. Okay, I'm just gonna mute her. I can't mute her. I can't do anything. I can't, I can't do anything with her. There you go. Okay, there, she's gone, I think. Yep, I removed her. Well, that's power when you can just remove somebody. Okay, so if you will go ahead and set your intentions for September, like now, like tonight, what do you want to have accomplished by mid-September? That's the star quarter ends mid-September, um, September 15th. And then what do you want to have accomplished by the end of September? You're not driving, are you, Zulema? No. Okay. Oh, <laughs> he hear us? He can. Oh, great. Poor thing. He has to listen to my husband during the day. Now he has to listen to me as we go into the evening. Anyway, um, so set your intentions now. And you know, I wanted to kind of share a couple of things with you guys that are this weekend, and that is. To, to have great expectations. And y'all know that's the name of a famous novel, Great Expectations. But to go into September with expectations and with excitement. Now, just today, Amy and I had a little chat, and I'll share with y'all that she's getting a little frustrated with bookings. Um, I had the same chat with Andrea. I had the same chat with myself. So one of the things that, um, that I'm, I've gone back to doing is not having a hostess. I am the hostess. And when you share with people what your goal is for the month, my goal is to have 30 faces uh, for the month of September. Um, how many faces can I, can you be responsible for? Don't even say, do you want to help me? Or do you want to have a party? Or do you want to join a party? I would just like, if I were calling Cecilia, I'd say, Cecilia, I'm so excited. I have set this huge goal for my Mary Kay business in September. <laughs> Stop talking. Because what is she going to ask? What are the expectations? What What is the goal? Like, I, oh my gosh, I have set a huge goal for myself in September with my Mary Kay business. I'm so excited. She's going to say, well, what's the goal? 
right? Either that or you need to send the EMTs because she's had a heart attack or something. But And then you say, um, my goal is to have uh, 30 new people try Mary Kay virtually. How many people can I count on you to be responsible for towards my goal? You got to ask it, guys. You just got to ask it. And if you text it or you email it, it's not the same. And then if she doesn't say anything, I would say, Cecilia, you know, I need your support. Never say help. I need your support. I could really, you know, use your help or use your support. Who could you, I know it's hard. Who could you invite for a virtual party or a virtual makeover? You don't even have to be the host. I'll be the host. You can just show up with a couple of your friends. When I called one of my customers two weeks ago and said, I'm doing 30 faces in August, and I really could use your support with this goal. She said, there is no way. The only day I could do it this month is August 31st. I go, okay, I'll take it. Knowing it's the last day of the month, knowing I have two videos tonight, but I'm like, I'll take it. Who do you want to invite? And she goes, I don't know, let me think about it. I said, no, let's brainstorm right now. She's like, okay. So we have eight people coming on tonight at seven o'clock my time for a virtual party. And it's, it's just putting it out there that you have this goal and that you expect, <laughs> what's their expectations? You are expecting them to say yes. If you go into it expecting them to say no or expecting them to, to be critical or whatever, you can't do that. That has to be put way behind you when you drive a car like Zulema's in the car right now the rear view mirror is this big but the front window is this big right because you only want to spend this much time on the rear view mirror you learn and then you move on and you look through the big window because if you stay focused on that rear view mirror all you're going to think about is why they'll say why that why they will say no what's going to go wrong why you're not enough why you're not professional enough what you're wrong blah 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 okay it's those little me 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 okay <clears throat> we have to focus on the front window what do you do today what are you expecting today when you wake up in the morning do you wake up saying this is what i expect to happen today I have five new people that i meet today i will have five new bookings today i will have five new parties booked today what are you expecting now, Zulema said, the first thing she said is, it's hard. I know it's hard. Um, oh, no, I don't want to, I don't want to leave the meeting. Um, I know it's hard. But you know what? The first time you do it, it's hard. The second time you do it, it's not so hard. The third call you make, you're like piece of cake. Fourth time, you what the heck was I so afraid of? We know that, right? Yep. And that's that rearview mirror. We know that once we get on the phone and start calling, it happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. Um, okay. So the other thing, <laughs> I'm already getting text messages. Are you recording the 4 p.m. call? Okay. <laughs> Our pastor said yesterday, live by faith and not by fear. This is what he said about fear. And I, had, I hadn't heard this said about fear before, that fear comes from pessimism. It, when you're pessimistic, when you see the glass half empty, that's where fear comes in. So when the glass is half empty, okay, you fill that with fear. And that, stop pointing to yourself. You're getting, you're getting past it, okay? You're not going to be fearful anymore. So in, in getting past that fear, you've got to drop the pessimism. It's a it pes, pessimistic attitude. It's got to be optimism. I can give you all a bunch of Bible verses, too, that he gave us. But... He said, do we focus on what we want to happen or not want to happen? Ooh, that's good, huh? Are we focusing on what we want to happen or what we don't want to happen? Okay, what do we not want to happen? When we start calling people and asking them and inviting them, what do we, what, what's the worst thing that can happen? We say no. We say no. Okay, and then what happens? 
You get back on the phone and book again. <laughs> okay. But how does that make you feel? I don't think it's the no that bothers me at all. I just like to see the results at the end of the table. So it, it's not the no. The no I'm okay with because the more no's we hear, the more yeses we'll gain in the end, right? Right. That's what I've always always taught. And like Jill, our adopted director too, she's like, it's just like a piece of gum. Like if you take a whole pack of gum and ask the whole crew on the video, do you want a piece of gum? Some say yes, some say no, some say I'll take one for later, right? <laughs> so, and you said this too. So like, it's, it's not the no, it's the, it, you have to say next. Yeah. That's the part that's okay. I can, I can deal with that. I just, I need to be more consistent. And if you get a no and you need to have closure with it, then you just say, well, do I have your permission to call you about another event I'm doing next month? Sure, you can call me back. Well, then you feel like you still have their permission to call them back. Right. I had a woman who I'm in the same Bible study small group with <clears throat> last year say, I'm just not into that kind of thing. <laughs> and then turned around and asked me to support her daughter's haircutting business. I wanted to say, can you tell I don't cut it? Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I just couldn't because I understand what it's like to need people's support and their encouragement, not their discouragement. So, <clears throat> you know, if you, if you start thinking to yourself, what's the worst thing that can happen? You're kind of living in the negativity, but you're being a little bit proactive because you're saying, okay, if they say no, what am I going to say next? That'll make me feel good. Well, is there any, anyone you know who would love to be pampered? Obviously, she doesn't want to be pampered. That's okay. I remember being in a group of ladies in my aerobics class when I was barely a year old in Mary Kay, and I was asking all the ladies if they wanted to come over Saturday morning for a big Mary Kay show I was doing. We called them classes then, and this one lady goes, no, I would never do that, and I go, oh, that's okay. I just didn't want you to feel left out. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, huh? So, and that made me feel good. And eventually she did come to a party. So it all worked out in the end. Okay. All right. So here are the things that um, you want to avoid saying. You want to avoid saying, what if I don't make it? What if I don't reach my goals? What if they say no? What if I don't sell anything? What if... What if, what if, avoid saying what if, and be more positive and expecting. I know they're going to say yes. I know I'm going to book a party. I know they're going to buy a lot of products. And have that going through your head as you're making these contacts and making these phone calls and talking to people. And y'all, there's nothing wrong with texting someone and saying, hey, do you have a quick minute? I, I'm you know, I need to call you. Give them a heads up that you're gonna call them. Hey, do you have a quick minute, okay? All right, the second thing I want you guys to make sure you're not saying is make sure you are avoiding saying, I can't. I can't. Don't say I can't, okay? Because when you say I can't, you're actually saying I won't. Because nobody's asking you to do anything like, you know, lift a truck or, you know, run around the world in one day or something. Nobody's asking you to do anything that is physically, mentally, spiritually impossible for you. So when you say, I can't, you're actually saying, I won't. You're saying, I refuse. Okay. And then the last one is, yes, but. Yeah, that's a good idea, but. Yes, but, because now every time you say the word but, you negate everything you said in front of it. So you're actually saying no. Yes, but what if they say no? Back to what if. Yes, but I, I can't. Yes, but nobody's booking right now. Yes, but I don't feel good about this. Okay. And y'all, the attitude follows the activity. 
the attitude follows the activity. So if you don't feel like it, do the activity anyway, and you'll feel like it. Okay. Like if I really, really, really don't want to work out, I can find every excuse in the book not to work out. I need to make phone calls. Um, I need to go prep something for dinner. I need to, da, da, da. I mean, I can come up with tons of excuses. I need to pick up hairs off the bathroom floor. Okay. I'd rather be on the phone. Okay. But if I say, I, I am going to work out at 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm shutting off my phone and I'm going to go work out because afterwards I will feel better. Correct. Okay. My girlfriend, Allison, who's my hostess tonight, she goes, I hate exercise. I hate going to the gym. I hate exercise, but I do it almost every single day because I have four boys and I have to keep up with them. And I know afterwards I'm going to feel great. And having that discipline and you guys, we've talked so much about being proactive. I just had another coaching call um, with Jules last week about being proactive in your schedule, especially when you are super, super busy. You've got kids at home doing virtual learning. You've got possibly your significant other working out of the house. You've got, you know, COVID. And you're not able to get out there and get the leads and meet the people. You're doing everything virtually. I mean, you guys, I don't know if y'all are aware of this, but something happened Saturday in Stacy's virtual party and they couldn't upload the slideshow. So she walked over and got her flip chart and used the flip chart. I mean, where there's a will, there's a way, right? I also want to encourage you guys get on Facebook and ask to be friends of friends of friends of friends of friends. That's a good way to get new leads. Or ask one of your friends, hey, can you recommend me to 10 of your friends? If you recommend me to 10 of your friends and they register on my website, I'll give you $10 off your next order. That's how you're gonna get referrals right now because we're not out and about a lot. We're not meeting people out and about. And it's going to stay that way for a while. I mean, they're saying that until after the first of the year and they see if this, if this mutates and then the flu bug's going to come along and Lord knows what's going to happen at that point. So get used to this process. This process is fun. It is fun. It is empowering. Um, right now, I think Zulema is our queen of... Uh, of doing zoom as far other than the directors of course but um but you know not afraid of it not afraid at all i've walked in on her doing it it's all set up on a pool table okay are you still on the pool table zulema yes okay in the in like the the game room on the pool table and it's all set up and she's got it ready to go cool easy peasy you're just going to have to embrace the process. Don't be afraid of it. Embrace the process. Because guys, when you think about it, and we keep saying this over and over, instead of just doing the two or three faces here, you can have people from all over the country on at the same time. Okay? Right now, we're Arizona time. Joan's in Maine. Jamie's in West Virginia. Amy's in Maryland. Cecilia, I don't even know where you are. So we're all over the country. Okay. All right. Hey, Amy, can you still hear me? Yes. My yes. head is unstable. So if I freeze up or something, shoot me a text. Okay. okay. So what are the three phrases we're going to avoid? What if, what if I don't make it? What if they say no? What if they don't answer the phone? What if I feel stupid? What if I, okay. Yes, but. Because I can't means. I won't, which means I refuse. And yes, but. Yes, but. Now, y'all, there's nothing wrong with calling me up and saying, okay, I got junk happening in my business right now, and I need to vent, and then I will listen to your solutions. But here's the caveat, guys. You are allowed to call me and vent. You are allowed to call me and say, this is going wrong, this is going wrong, this is going wrong. And then I get to say, what I think your strategy should be. And Amy and I just had this conversation today. You know, I, I'm challenged in this area, I'm challenged in this area, I'm challenged in this area. Okay, and then she goes, so tell me what to do. And I will tell you guys, 
what is the most irritating thing, especially your kids or your husband can do to you when you're trying to explain something, something to them, like how to do something or how to find something or when they go, I know, I know. Okay. I'm, I'm already doing that. Well, obviously you're not doing it the way you should be, or you would have the bookings and the team and the sales. Just today, I had to walk over and show my dad something on the computer. And I'm like, okay, so you go to YouTube. I did that. Okay. All right. Tell me what it looks like to you. I put in U2. You know what he put in? The letter U2. And I go, watch this. YouTube went to the thing. Here's your Bible study. He goes, how'd you do that? And so he gets out his little piece of paper. This is what you guys do to me too, okay? Gets out his little piece of paper. I'm gonna write him. I'm gonna write him. Y-O-U-T-U-B-E. He goes, okay, so then I, I just type in the, the guy's name. I go, yeah. And then you type in, and when you type in this guy's name, he's done hundreds of Bible studies. And he goes, and then... And then he, he says, you type in the name of the book. I go, no, that's not what the instructions say. What do the instructions say? Well, I, I type that in. No, you type in this. Well, that's not the name of the book. That's not the link. The link is not the name of the book. The link is the name of the study. Well, that's what I did. Obviously, you did not because I'm you're doing it for you now. Okay, so be very open to instruction. Y'all got that part of the story? Be open to instruction. We've been doing this a long time, okay? We are pivoting. We are learning. And, and you might say, well, I pushed that button, and I pushed that button, and I pushed that button, and it didn't work. But obviously, this is not a computer error. This is a user error. <laughs> Amy's like, and yes, do you get impatient? Yeah, y'all think y'all get impatient with your families? Try being me, okay? So, you know, and I don't start out with a lot of patience. So, you know, I just really want to encourage you guys, be open to that instruction. It's not criticism, it's instruction. It's like I'm always telling Zulema, do not be self-intimidated by your accent. You're acting beautiful. Oh, Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Beautiful. She is extremely articulate. Now, Adajani's not on here right now, but I know I can say this and she'd be okay with it. Adajani is Brazilian. And even as much as she has taken English classes and everything, she has to speak slowly. Because the Portuguese, it, and Sayonara too, y'all know Sayonara, right? It goes real fast. And so they have to, and I'll say, you need to speak a little more slowly. And they're like, okay, I've got that. But yeah, don't be, you know, especially if you say, well, I know I'm not good at this. And, and we're like, where did you come up with that idea? Like, no, I'm just missing that immediately. Okay. That's, let's go back to that. Yes, but I can't, I won't. What if, no, we're not doing that anymore. Okay, we're eliminating that, okay? Also, try to eliminate need. And I, y'all, I still say it every day. But when you say, I need to get five bookings, I need to sell $1,000, I need to make this much money. When you do that, something happens in your brain and it goes into a fight or flight kind of standing because it's need, I need, I need to save my child. I need to put out that fire. I need to, you know, cover up this bleeding child's arm with a Band-Aid, whatever. Those are more hysterical type things I need, okay? I'm choosing. I'm choosing to sell $1,000 this week. I'm choosing to have a grand week. I'm choosing to do 10 faces this week. I'm choosing to have five bookings by five o'clock on September 1st. I'm choosing to call versus texting and emailing all the time, okay? That's what I deal with, because it is so much easier for me just to speak, 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 text, put it down, and wait for the response. To get on the phone and have to talk and 
Yeah. That takes more time. It does. But that's an investment in your customers and in your team. Right? Right. And some people are fun to talk to. Okay. All right. So I want to show y'all something real quick um, before I let you guys go. I want to show you the, and let me make sure I've got the right one here. I don't. I think it's this one I want to show y'all. Yes. Okay. So this is what Terry and Andrea and I created. I want y'all to look. Can y'all see this? Get a thumbs up on this. Amy, can y'all see this? Am I frozen? Amy's frozen. I'm sharing. Your blank screen. Blank screen. Now we see it. Okay. My internet's unstable again. Okay. All right. So look at this. The timelines repair set, it says counts as four sets. The Miracle 3D counts as two sets. Jamie, we did this just for you. The TimeWise 3D basic set counts as one set. Okay, so it makes it clearer. The naturally set counts as two. Botanical counts as one. Clear proof counts as one. And they should have the clear proof back in stock in September. So you have to buy it piecemeal right now instead of the sets. Um, the brush with the massage head counts as two. It's a, it's kind of a, it's a money thing. If it's around 50 something, it counts as one. If it's around a hundred, it counts as two. Now, when you're doing your closing, you're not giving all this stuff away like we were before. This is so smart. You say, now you have several options here. You can select four sets and receive $20 in Mary Kay products and be a princess. Now, you guys, this is, this is our thinking on this. If they bought the TimeWise Repair Set, which counts as four sets, you're giving them an extra $20 in Mary Kay products, products that they're going to fall in love with. And I wanna ask you something. If, I, if you were my customer and I said, oh my gosh, Jamie, with the TimeWise Repair Set, you get $20 in Mary Kay products free. What else do you want? Is she just going to spend $20? If you had a $20 cash coupon to go use at the grocery store, do you only spend $20? No. Okay. Are y'all with me? Oh, my internet's so unstable right now. Okay. You're with me. Okay. Now, if they select five sets, they receive... $35 in Mary Kay products. And if they book a party with you, they receive an extra $35. And look down here where it has the asterisk at the party. And that's their hostess credit. How simple can it be? If they select six sets, they receive $50 in Mary Kay products. And if they schedule a party, they receive an extra $50 at that party. Now, when you start doing the math on this, you are coming way, way, way ahead. Way ahead. Because you're really never giving away more than 10%. Does that make sense to you guys? Yes? I don't know, I don't know if y'all are seeing this. Okay. Let me show you the next one. This one has the Skin Vigorate brush, but I want to show you this one. Can y'all see this now with the facial peel? Okay, so this is the same thing, but instead of the brush, you have the facial peel. And then the last one is the color set. It's hard to see and it's this tiny. Okay, so when you do a color party, here's all your sets, and then here's your color. See, it's that simple. And if they do the princess set on any of them and they get $20 in Mary Kay products, it doesn't give them any incentive to be a hostess. So this is where you wanna say, gosh, if you bump up and get one more set, then you can, you qualify to be able to be a hostess. People like 
to know they've earned something. So now they're going to bump up so that they can be a hostess and they can earn $35 in Mary Kay product. Okay. All right. My internet's really going, um, still seeing the first one. Okay. So y'all only saw the first one. Okay. My internet's very unstable right now. I don't know what's going on. So let me show you the other ones real quick. This is the one with the facial peel. Do y'all see that no, set number seven is now the facial peel rather than the brush. Okay. So this is the set. This is the closing set I'm using tonight because I'm doing hydrofacial party at seven o'clock. And they got, oh y'all, you should see this packet I put together. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. I gave them a white washcloth. Oh, this is my internet's unstable again. A white washcloth. I gave them a charcoal mask sample, a moisture rich sample, um, the moisture mask sample. I gave them a color card based on their eye look. And I gave them a time wise sample not the box, but just the packets based on their skin type. And put it on this cute little bag and I put, um, let me show y'all what else I put in it. I put the color version of Why Wash Your Face with Mary Kay. I put in one piece of marketing and then I put a letter with it. And I said, you know, I'm excited about, you know, the party, yada, yada, yada. This is what time it is. This is the link, yada, da, da. And then I said, and if you know of anybody who you think would be great having their own business, feel free to pass on the marketing information to them. And that was it. Okay, so let me stop sharing this one. And let me show you the last one. Um, Okay, here it is. Where's the color? So y'all didn't see the color one. So this is the color one. Oh, y'all disappeared. Um, hang on. There it is. Okay. Now do y'all see the color one? It has a compact. Okay. So if you're going to do a color show where you give everybody a color card, and I give them a, the little disposable sponge tip applicators. Um, then you're going to talk about the flawless face, the perfect palette, the dash out the door, the perfectly polished, the essential set, and the brush set. And I highly recommend, guys, that you have all of this set up in bags. And then what you do is you just switch out the bottom bags, okay, based on what type of virtual party you're doing, whether you want it to be um, the color, or you want it to be uh, the Skin Vigorate brush, or you want it to be, um, you know, the facial peel. But have it all set up in that bag, so when you hold it up, they want the bag. And then you know that through today, any of your hostesses that are responsible for five guests and 300 in sales, they get a free roll-up bag from Andrea and I. I'm sure that if somebody brings it up at the eight o'clock meeting tonight, I'm sure Andrea will buckle down and say, okay, we'll let, we'll extend it for another month. How many of y'all earned a roll-up bag for your hostess? Zulema, raise your hand. Zulema, raise your hand. Yeah, she did. She had a hostess that was responsible for five guests and 300 in sales. So, I gave her a roll-up bag to give to her hostess. And then she doesn't have to give a hostess gift. Y'all, earn it. If it's free, it's for me. Earn it. And is everybody here in my unit? Yes, everybody here is in my unit. So y'all know that in my unit, I, I extended the July bonuses through tonight. So make sure you check that. Check your e-card, check your text message, and make sure you don't miss out on a bonus by like this much. Okay, at 400 and 600, I'm giving bonuses, okay? All right, so we're good? Yes? What are the three phrases that you're not gonna say anymore? Who wrote them down? Who wrote them down? Who wrote them down? Okay, Amy, what, you're gonna have to unmute. Okay, Cecilia, unmute yourself. Amy, unmute yourself. Amy, what was the first one? The first one was what if. Like what if what? Yep. 
just uh, what if you, you want me to like fill it in? Yeah. What if I can't make a booking or what if I can't make the sale? Okay. How do you switch that around to make it a positive statement? I will make the sale. Mm -hmm. I can, I will, I must. You go. I love it. Okay. Cecilia, what was the second one? Um, yes, but. That was the third one, but go ahead and oh. tell what it is. Um, oh, I, what I wrote down was I need, and that, uh, that triggers um, the fight or flight uh, attitude. Yeah. Okay. But in the three phrases, it was what if, don't say what if. Don't say I can't, because that means I won't. And what was the last one? You just said it. I need. Nope. Oh, yes, but. But, okay. Get your butts out of the way. <laughs> okay. Get your butt out of the way. Not yes, but. Yes, but. What if they don't? Yes, but. I can't do that. Yes, but. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, but. Yes, but. Yes, but. No more butts, okay? Butts are out the out the door, okay? All right. And um, you guys, please, please, please put on your calendar every Sunday, every Sunday to turn in your weekly accomplishment because Andrea and I kind of get into a little rivalry there, okay? And if you do it on Monday morning, especially if you're on the East Coast, because I'm not even awake yet, you do it on Monday morning, just make sure the date at the top is the correct date. Let me show y'all this real quick. Uh, I gotta get out of here. Uh, let me show you this real quick. It's not gonna let me do it, is it? Get out of all of these. Yay, okay. Let's go to here. Let's go to here. If you submit it on Monday morning, and I would definitely do it for um, nine o'clock in the morning, you want to go to business tools, go to weekly accomplishment, and you want to enter your weekly accomplishments. You see this date right here at the top? See that date? You want to make sure you go back to the day before. Because so many times y'all put it right here because Today is the 31st. No, 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 no. We ended yesterday. So you always want to put that date in. Okay. And always make sure you go to the very end and click on submit. Because if you don't, I don't get it. Okay. And I want to make sure you guys get credit for that. Okie dokie. Give me a thumbs up. Okay. I'm not in competition with Andrea, but I do like, I do like to show off with my unit members a little bit. Just like when we're the queens and we're the, and she's like, well, you just have such a good unit. And I'm like, I know. Girl. All right. Set your intentions. Set your expectations. Write that down. I will set my intentions. I will, I will set my expectations. I will expect to be successful in September. I will expect to be completely blessed in September. And then as you meet people and you're talking to people, you'll have that optimism rather than that pessimism. Pessimism. Is that right? Pessimism? Pessim you're pessimistic. Yes. Say Zulema, I do it too. All right. Any questions? You guys look good. Okay. I will see y'all in about 20 minutes, okay? Okay. Yeah. Amy, I got to call your mom back.